Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a transportation PE problem. We're going to be talking about traffic engineering, uninterrupted flow. Let's get into it. All right, so here's what the problem says. A 4.5 mile basic freeway segment has a demand flow rate of 1,750 passenger cars per hour per lane. Under base conditions, the average travel time among the segment is four minutes. Assume V sub P over C is less than or equal to one. The level of service or LOS is most nearly what? And then we see our four options available to us, LOS A through D. And so if we need some reading material, which we do, uh, we're going to be looking in the highway capacity manual. So HCM for short, uh, this is, there's, I believe four volumes for the highway capacity manual. Uh, number one is concepts. Number two is uninterrupted flow. Number three is interrupted flow. And I forgot number four, but uh, there are four volumes to this. And we're going to be diving into uninterrupted flow, which is volume two. So I'll write that down here. Volume two. Uh, and we also need to dive into chapter 12 specifically. I highly recommend for the exam that you memorize the chapter titles, the, you know, where you need to look, that type of thing. That way during the exam, you're not wasting time trying to find what chapter is applicable to your scenario. What gives this one away to chapter 12 is that chapter 12 is uh, labeled basic freeway. I'm just going to freehand here. Freeway and multi-lane uh, highway segments. So that's what gives it away. Our problem statement literally says basic freeway segment. So that gives it away that we're going to be talking about chapter 12. Uh, so a helpful tip for you guys, whenever you are uh, taking the exam, the highway capacity manual is very generous in that they provide a overview of methodology. And that literally gives you step by step um, instructions on how to solve the problem. So number one, step number one to this problem is check the overview of methodology. So I'm just going to write that down overview. All right. And then notice that step six in that overview of methodology, um, for solving for the LOS here is determine the LOS. So I'm just going to write uh, step six here. And then when you scroll to that step, you'll notice that uh, exhibit 12-15 is used to solve for the LOS. And so that's going to be step number two. Whenever you're scrolling, you'll notice exhibit 12-15 is going to be useful for us. All right. And then once we get to that exhibit, we'll notice that um, it requires density to solve for the LOS and that's passenger cars per hour per lane. So we need to solve for density. So that's step number three is solve for density. And then uh, step number four is uh, we need to check the method of uh, overview of methodology again. And you'll notice that density is solved in step five and it gives us an exhibit 12-11. So uh, I'm going to write that down here. We have uh, exhibit 12-11. And this guy says this, density is equal to V sub P over S. Now, what do these mean? D, the capital D is density, and the units are provided in the uh, highway capacity manual. It's passenger cars per mile per lane. Uh, v sub P is demand flow rate. So that's passenger cars per hour per lane. And then the S is the mean speed of the traffic stream uh, under the base conditions, which is miles per hour. So uh, we're given a lot of a lot of juicy details in this problem statement. So we're going to go ahead and get started with solving this guy. Uh, we know V sub P, right? V sub P was given to us in the uh, in the problem statement. So V sub P is equal to 17 50 and this is passenger cars per hour per lane all right now we need to solve for s which is our mean speed right so s is equal to uh, 4.5 miles we got to do a little trickery here a little engineering math here 4.5 miles over four minutes okay where did that come from it says a four and a half mile basic freeway segment uh, under base conditions, the average tra uh, travel time among the segment is four minutes. So we know that we are traversing four and a half miles over the course of four minutes. That gives us our basic speed for this or our mean speed for the traffic stream under base conditions. 
this is going to be equal to, uh, well, first we need to actually convert. Sorry, I, I got ahead of myself there. We need to convert this. And so the way that we're going to convert this into miles per hour is we know that 60 minutes are in one hour. All right. And whenever you, uh, whenever you calculate this, you end up with 67.5 miles per hour. And that is our mean speed of the traffic stream under basic conditions. So that's S. Now it's just plug and chug at this point. And so we end up with density being equal to 1750 passenger cars per hour per lane. That over our mean speed, which is 67.5 miles per hour and this dude ends up being 25.93 passenger cars per mile per lane all right now what do we do with this information i'm glad you asked what we need to do with this information is we need to plug it into exhibit 12-15 remember that was referenced earlier in the problem exhibit 12-15 is going to have what we need and that's going to outline the different um, requirements I guess for the LOS and so whenever we go to that exhibit we'll notice that our answer this 25.93 is uh, actually greater than 18 to or in between sorry 18 to 26 and so therefore this is going to be LOS C all right so super quick problem, easy problem. This is something that you can definitely see on your PE exam. Hope this helps uh, and we'll catch you next time.